Christmas. I've got the Christmas tree. This one's fake, but I wanted to pay homage to our the holiday season we've got going on. And just so excited to be here with each and every one of you guys. And you know, I get all fired up just to spend Sunday night with you. It's my favorite day of the week because I get to see your faces. So we've got a good one lined up for you tonight. We've got some fun stuff. But before I bring on our very, very special guests, I wanted to share some information with you guys. So I'm going to do a screen share because we have something coming up. And I know that it's really early for us to be talking oh. about it. Oh. Sorry, yes. I muted my laugh. You said, oh, like you were talking. Do you not want me to share this right now? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so next Saturday, I just wanted to give a heads up to everybody that we're gonna have Darren and John on the Saturday training call that that Chris Doyle and Todd Roll and Brent Palmer and Tracy Turnberg and Ken Bailey are all going to be running next Saturday. So mark your calendar now because that's going to be a really, really big call. We want to get everybody on there. They're also going to have some transformations and some other stuff on there. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody has a heads up that that is happening. Yes, sir. Andrea, I'm going to jump in on this too. I, I I really believe, and thank you for putting this up here and getting the Zoom flyer out very quick for us, guys. You we're we're going to be sharing this in Telegram tonight after the call, but we're going to talk tonight. Andrea wants me to share a little bit about market share, like getting your market share of this of this company, of this new opportunity, of this new name coming. And I think to get your market share, you got to get your belief. You got to get your dome right, as I say. You know, that those those in between your ear type vision. And um, so this, if if you're new, I mean, just like I'm thinking about Lane, Mr. Lane. But 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 listen, Darren and and, and John are 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 at the helm of the company. You know, so. For everybody to be able to get on and listen and get questions answered and get questions asked, and we're going to be asking questions, we're going to be talking to them. You know, it's it's a chance to be there, but also get your team there, also get any guests there you want. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm in full season of enrollment mode, and. I'm not missing the opportunity to get people in front of these guys. You know, people always want to know what your company makeup look like. What does what 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 does your executive team look like? Well, this is your opportunity on Saturday. So thanks, Andrea, for going ahead and getting that out. Let's build for the event all week this week. So we'll talk more about it, but thanks. Of course, of course. So I'm super excited about it. And just like coach said, we don't want anybody to miss that. So please mark your calendar. We'll get it up in telegram, you know, print the picture out and tape it to your refrigerator because this is a big one and we don't want you to miss out. And then just like coach is doing, I wanted to share just a couple of the pictures. Hopefully I don't do a too similar one, but we were together last night in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, fired up group of people, all excited to create something. And it was a really, really neat event. And I'm going to tell you guys about it, not to rub it in that you weren't there, because we wish that each and every one of you were there. And some of you guys were, but so that we all get the idea of, hey, this is something that I could do in my hometown, right? This is something that I could duplicate. So first of all, the the gentleman, so we had Brent Palmer, Tracy Turnberg did a really quick presentation just sharing because there were guests in the room, right? Sharing why people might want to be there and check it out. We had a lovely meal that was more of the Christmas party. You might not do that all the time. And then afterwards, they did a detailed training on the power of the system of growth. And I'll tell you, it was so much fun. I kind of was sitting, I could see more of the, the, the group there than the gentleman speaking. And I got to see people's faces as they got to hear different things. And I'll tell you, it was so exciting to watch those guests go from, you know, we all know it, like the arms crossed to the lean in, 
And we saw so many people do that. It was a fantastic event. I'll see if I can um, share just a couple of these pictures. Um, we'll see if we can get them to move. I don't know if it did. Nope, it did not. Okay. And we also had a very short, very brief, ugly sweater contest. Coach, you keep um, muting. Listen, and listen this, this blew up in Tracy's face, okay? He ah! tried to make a joke. He tried to say my face was ugly on, the, uh, on his <laughs> ugly sweater. The crowd didn't go for it, so it blew up in his face. And um, I'm, I'm so proud it did. So, <laughs> Well, it was a lot of fun. And guys, if you want to see more of it, I would say go into Renew You. Go on Facebook, go to Renew You, Andrew Jackson, like Melissa Jackson documented the entire event. She did a wonderful job. She had a big old selfie stick. She took a million pictures and Andrew Jackson posted them and you can see all of the fun that we had. So um, it was a great night. Can't wait to celebrate the holidays with all of you and have events all around the nation. So that was a lot of fun. Andrew, I want to say something while you've got it up um, or, or you don't have to pull it back up, but Guys, think about this in your area. Like, like there's so many people, you know, we, we can always come up with things in our head. It's, it's the holiday, it's birthdays, it's too cold out, it's snowing, it's raining, it's this and it's that. But at the end of the day, again, we're going to talk about getting your market share. See, Jackson, Mississippi years ago absolutely blew up with a company called Tahitian Noni, okay? I mean, people made so much from that explosion. Jackson, Mississippi years ago blew up with a company called the Limu Company. Jackson, Mississippi will blow up with a new company that we're getting ready to announce. So I, I share that with you because you have a hometown, you have a city, you have somebody close by. Don't let someone else come in and capture your market because they will. And so I want you to understand that. Like, think about it from your perspective. What can you do? Because the world we live in today, I saw the faces last night. We're, 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 people are coming out of this 2020 era we went into. And people are experiencing great joy getting together. So think about how you can turn it into something for you, okay? Now, again, I go back to you can make all the excuses in, 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 in the world in your head or you can figure out a way. The people that figure out a way will be the ones that capture the market share of this new company. So, Andrea, just wanted to share that. It was an amazing event, and I, I really applaud the people for taking action in Jackson, Mississippi, stepping forward and saying, we're just going to put something together. We're just going to make this thing happen, right? The person that takes action will be the winner of this game. And they did a great job. So now we are going to move. We're going to switch gear. And I have a very special guest that I would love to highlight. But Letitia, your camera's not on, so I can't highlight you. But hopefully that means that you are maybe pulling up and you're you're getting ready to roll but Letitia I met her I believe in Destin the first time and you know you ever meet somebody and they you just have like that connection there was just something that we just related to each other and then we got to spend a little bit more time together when we were in Orlando Florida and we kind of bumped into each other at like the front desk. I don't know if we were both checking out at the same time. I'm not quite sure, but we had a little bit of a conversation and we connected again. And then we've had a few phone conversations and we connected again and I just adore her. So she's got a great spirit and she's a ton of fun and she can dance. She can definitely dance. So um, I tried to get a lesson from her, like in the background, but I wasn't quite brave enough to stand next to her and try. But maybe the next event, I'll dance next to you. So Letitia, you, I believe, are muted, but you should be able to unmute yourself. But thank you so much for jumping on with us tonight. Appreciate you. We're all family, right? So yeah. I don't have everything together because I'm just coming from the store. Wait a uh, minute. Hold on. You can hear me, but you can't see me. 
Where we can see you. We, technical we, error. Uh, well, you we can see you okay. and we can hear you and you look okay, beautiful. good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I had to go get some tea for my throat. Hey, family, uh, big waves with my left hand because I'm holding the phone with my right hand. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that your throat's not doing great. I know. Um, but I appreciate you jumping on here with us tonight. And I was hoping you could kick us off just sharing a little bit about your story here with your, your journey in network marketing. Oh. Oh. Okay, Andrew, you, I wasn't prepared. You told me oh, to talk just, about the list. Well, we're going to talk about that too, but introduce yourself. So if you don't want to go that far, okay. you could just introduce Letitia to the people that have not been blessed with your presence just yet. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Letitia. I live in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I've been with um, our beloved company now for what I think two years. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm I'm always excited and you probably already know that, but I'm actually in my heart am excited about being partnered with the right company, right products, right leadership. It's like the perfect algebraic equation. <laughs> it's all balanced. <laughs> so, um, and, and of course with you all, like this is the icing on the cake being connected to you. I am not seeing anyone. I am seeing only myself. How okay. Does this work? I need to go so, to my computer. No, you're okay. I'll tell you what you can do. So okay. you should be able to hold on. I'm not in I'm on your see phone. my family. Oh, okay. Oh, I scrolled okay. it over. It was okay. error. No, I hey, usually warn people. I usually <laughs> warn people because most people it freaks them out if they're sitting there staring at their own face. So I'm, I'm sorry. Myself. I'm, I'm like, sorry I didn't warn you. I hate that too. <laughs> so I apologize for that. And you'll notice that I've got you highlighted. I don't have me because I'd rather look at you than oh, look okay. at myself. See, it's a little sneaky, sneaky. So, okay, with that, I'm going to share because you did something this week. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to do two shares. So bear with me. So first, I want you guys to see how cute this is because she's making a list and she's checking it twice and she's going to find out who's working with her. And she, you know, thanks. Can I sing it for you? Yeah, sing it. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. I'm going to find out who's working with me. Letitia is coming to town. <laughs> I love it. I, I told my you guys. Up. <laughs> she is fantastic. So with that, you rocked this list. And hopefully you guys can see that, that you sat down and you made the key to your million dollar 2023. And so I just wanted you to talk to us a little bit about what inspired you to make that list. Okay. Oh, that's you. easy. It's, it's, it's one word, five letters, coach. Ah, okay. I'll be honest with you. Yep. It was coach. Um, I, and I'm trying to remember how all the leaders that I had, that are here, that have been ahead of us that are that are they're working us they're showing us and at the end of the day I think even Chris Doyle said it yesterday he said you're on the calls you're doing everything but if you don't do it it doesn't even matter when coach put out that play not the film but the assignment because I'm gonna call it the play and I said why not I've got a phone book or in my phone Facebook Instagram I've because I've been intentional so I've already been kind of on purpose posting so I can talk with people. So when he gave us that challenge, it just, it was a spark. It resonated. I was like, I can do this. I got to show up for me. And especially when he said that 20%, I'm tired of being in the 80%. Okay. Here's a confession. We're family, right? I used to be in the 80%. I used to be that one. It was all this energy, all this excitement, but I would not take action. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. But when coach came with it this time, right? I'm not waiting for January. Matter of fact, one of the, um, I don't want to call it a mantra, but a new thing that I'm doing, I'm 47. Coach, we're in the 47 club. I'm 47. I'm concerned my new year started on my birthday. So I'm already two months, no, one month, or one month and or almost two months into my new year. I'm not waiting for January 1st. So when coach gave this challenge, I'm like, all right, because where do I want to be next November? Not necessarily where do I want to be 
like at the end of December. So it was easy. And then just making it fun. He said, get a notebook, file a notebook. I found some stickers, colorful pins. I'm like, it's just fun. You know how it is? You get a good pen with good paper. Mm -hmm. It's fun writing down names. Look, I'm feeling the notebook right now. <laughs> so like, I've, and you probably can't see it. It's blurred. I've already got this. No, you can't see that. Um, a, I've already done my list for today. And where the names are coming from, uh, you didn't ask me, but I'll tell you. The conversations that I've started having on Instagram and Facebook with people, so I think Chris, somebody else mentioned that they hadn't talked to somebody in years. There are people that I haven't talked to in years that commented on pictures that I posted. Their names going on the list. Well, you, name, you called me and out. I, one more thing. Was, and he oh, said yeah. it was easy. I'm sorry. No, that's my fault. He also said, I think, I think coach made it easy when he said, just write the name down. I didn't say you're going to build business with them. I didn't say you were going to sell product. Nothing. Just write the name down. That's just as easy as writing your ABCs. Mm -hmm. Just write the name down. And once you get the right, and, you, and it's true, if you start thinking, oh, the boy I kissed in the backyard. Oh, did I tell that story? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Hey, we're family. I can joke with you all. We Go are ahead, family. Amy. We are family. <laughs> so I love that. I, I think I, I pinked up a little bit because that does sound like a great <laughs> story. So we might have chat more later. So you <laughs> dropped some keys right there that guys, I hope everybody caught. So first of all, she's being intentional. And so she talked about how she's been making some little, you know, planting some seeds, dripping on people on or not necessarily, but just putting posts out to give people something to comment on, right? Like I can be so guilty of, I disappear on social media. Like I post a picture of Maddie and then I'm gone. Like I'm gone. I might come back. Then my kids might do something cute, but it might take them a minute to do something cute. So <laughs> it's going to take me time to be back on there. So being intentional of coming up with things, even when maybe there's not a lot going on, you know, exciting, or, you know, you think photo worthy or whatever, be intentional. Think about what can I put on to social media today that people can interact with me. So I love that your intention. Next that you said something that was so key, which was you're going to show up for me. You said, I'm going to show up for me. Letitia is showing up for Letitia. And I think about, I love that. How many times, especially, I don't know if this is a male, female thing. I don't know if this is I don't know what it is, but I'm going to say so many of us, we're really great at showing up for everybody else, right? Yep. If Letitia, if you call me and you need something, okay, I help, right? If Ann calls me and she says, I have a need or Arlene calls me and she's got a need. That's real easy for Andrea to show up because you, you needed me, but sometimes I can decide not to show up. It's not even intentional but I cannot show up for me. And I love that we should all put that on the top of our to-do list every single day, like show up for myself, go get my list done so that I next key that you said can move out of the 80% and jump into that 20%. So there was a lot of power in there. So my next question was, how'd you come up with the names? But we already got it. Um, I will give a quick plug because if you guys don't know the Zoom that she's talking about, she's talking about Chalk Talk. And coach committed to every Tuesday leading up to the end, like when the Catalyst Club closes. So we've got until January 31st. He is committed to jumping on Zoom every Tuesday, 12 noon central time and helping us. So he gives shouts out, shout outs to everybody, congratulating them on hitting Catalyst Club. And then he gives us concrete information that we can implement and go grow our business. So love that. So I'll tell you this. So, and you, again, you talked about just write them down. I think about a grocery list. Like we don't stress too much about what we're putting on the list. We just kind of go through, what do I need? What do I want? And we just jot it all down. And then we're going to take some next actions to get those groceries in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the next actions that you're doing with this list at this point? Well, before the action, actually, I want to share with my family. I hope you all are paying attention. Now that I've made up my mind to, um, to follow through with what coaches ch challenged us to do, guess what, guys? Distractions come up. Mm -hmm. This whole weekend, coach gave us this challenge on Wednesday. I'm telling you, that daggone devil, 
where you've made up your mind to show up for you. So let me just now personalize that. I made up my mind to keep my promise, show up for me. I'm writing a list. I'm feeling accomplished. And when I tell you the distraction that come up, it's the type of distraction, not, ooh, there's a shiny new object. No, the kind that rips your, like your emotion. It just gets you all riled up. And I'm like, and this time, this time I was able to see it for what it is. And I mm-hmm. want to, to tell you all, like, be aware of that. Those are the, when they said the little foxes that come in to, to eat the vine or something, some saying, there's a saying like are that. Are the birds but, coming eat the seeds? See, something like, it's something like that. But my point is, once you've made up your mind to get this done, just be ready. Look on, be on the lookout for the distractions because they are going to come. Because I've made, I'm in the 20%. That's why on that post, I said, oh, I'm trying to be in the, no, I am in the 20% and I'm staying in the 20%. So the next step, um, actually coach didn't tell us, he told us just write the names down. Okay. But but he did the other piece to that was go ahead and start having conversations with him. So that's the next action, really. Intentionally have con- conversations, say, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in a long time. And that has been working. I just somebody is ready to place an order. They're not joining, but they are placing an order because the conversation did lead to, you know, they feeling like crap or whatever it was. And then I was able to just share. And they were like, oh, tell me more. So have the conversations. I mean, I'm not sure how some of us were in high school. I was always that one that came around. Some people kind of quiet and they'll be thinking, oh, I can't do like Letitia. I'm like, but you can still do you. You can still do you. You can still step out just a little bit. Like we need to see you. We need you. You have something to share. You have, And like Les Brown says, you have greatness in you. And I'll stop there because I'll keep talking. Did I answer your question? (laughs) You did. You are amazing. I am so, so grateful for you and congratulations on everything you're doing. And I told you like, cause we had some, you know, little banter a little bit about, you know, when I invited you to speak with us tonight and you are going to blast through. Let me tell you, we're family. One more thing, guys, because we're family, I'm going to share it with you because I, I want you to know that you because I tend to do the same thing. We see people like, oh, I can't be Brent Palmer. Oh, this person's on that platform, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Andrew asked me to participate. Do you know there's a lie that came into my head? And I started thinking, oh no, I'm not in the Catalyst Club. What can I say? Blah, blah, blah. I'm putting myself on blast because I want you to know that we all get those thoughts. But guess what? I corrected that thought right away. You have to do the same thing. I immediately, Andrew didn't even respond. I immediately said, no, I'm going to show up. I can do this. This this opportunity has presented itself. I'm going to show up. So guys, ladies, gentlemen, let's do this. Let's get our market share. Oh, I love it. Great job. Great job. Great job. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Adore you. And I can't wait to see you rock and roll. All right. Love you, lady. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Love you guys too. Thank you. And so with that, we are adding in coach. So we're going to spotlight him and you know how to make it. So you're not just staring at yourself because I know that you hate that too, but Letitia hit it market share, market share, market share, market share. So will you talk to us a little bit because you know, I've worked with you for a long time. Um, I think we're pushing 11 years now that we have worked together. I've seen you grow. Um, you're always a recruiting master, but you have definitely recruited a lot of people in a short amount of time. So talk to us a little bit about, you know, why now, what you're doing and all that good stuff. All right. I am taking notes. So here it comes. (laughs) Arlene Hutchinson, get ready, get ready, put your seatbelt on. Okay, put your seatbelt on. I love Arlene. Letitia, you're amazing, lady. You are absolutely amazing. And this will make me tear up. I'm not going to get teared up, oh, Letitia. I'm not letting you tear me up tonight. But I know why you're doing this. I know why you're doing this business. I know why you want this income. 
I know what it means to you and what it will mean to you. See, we're looking for people like Letitia. She, she's going to share her story in 2023, 2023 with people, and she's going to bless their lives, and she's going to bless her own life in an amazing way because she's greedy. You're going to hear me say this over and over and over. When you start looking for greedy people in your business, greedy people to bless, not the needy people, and you, when you first hear that, you're like, ooh, I don't like the way that sounds. But you got to listen to it because Letitia is greedy. She has some wants and some needs in her life, and she's greedy for them. Greedy doesn't just mean that you're just money hungry and you just want it all for evil. That's not what it means. Greedy, I said last week, is Brandon McIntyre that has a great job but sees this business because you know what? A great job is costing him 140 hours a week, some weeks. And he realizes that what he really wants in life is to be able to coach his kids in ball like he once did before they're too old to coach anymore. See, greedy for him is time freedom. It's the time to be able to coach, the time to be able to spend with his kids. Letitia, Letitia has her greedy spots and i want to tell you you're going to bless life leticia with what you're doing you know why because you're fun you have an amazing energy source when you talk you're powerful lady you're powerful you smile you can't help but to smile back at you when you talk i mean all these things are nuggets ask yourself do you have that right now are you fun do you smile do you have energy would people say that about you? Are you a 20 percenter right now? Jim Rohn says that it doesn't matter what group you're talking to. And I really just hate this. He, he, he says it. You know, Jim Rohn is a powerful source. He's a legacy. Even after he's passed and went on from this earth, he's still blessing people today. And he says, everybody you talk to, every group you talk to, 80 percent of the people won't take the action 20 percent will he said don't try to take that course because it'll drive you nuts the 20 percent is just the 20 percent and the 80 percent is just the 80 percent and it's been like that 20 percent of the people in the congregation at church gives 80 percent of the money why is that i don't know don't take that course it's just the way it is and so Letitia says i'm gonna be a 20 percenter what are you going to be tonight? Where are you going to be in 2023? I have had times in my journey of this profession where I've slipped and been the 80 percenter. I really have. But I'll tell you what I'm going to be in 2023. I'm going to be a 20. I will be a 20 percenter. I will show up. I will have fun. I will have energy. I will smile. And I'm going to find my way in 2023, making a difference. Just like Letitia. And so I believe what you got to do is you've got to make a decision and you've got to announce it to the world. See what Letitia did. If you go to renew you on Facebook, Andrew, I don't know if you can screen share this and I'm going to get to what you asked, but, but this is important tonight because I believe you got to make a decision. See, Cynthia Bolden made a decision in Oxford, Mississippi. Have you made the decision yet? See, if you go to Renew You, you'd see Letitia's post where she made a decision. She made a decision. See, I challenged everybody on the chalk, on the coaches, um, the chalk talk on Tuesday. Here's what I challenged everybody. You can go watch it. It's on my YouTube channel. But Letitia had a decision to make. She could, I said, make a decision and then announce it to the world. Have you done that yet? If you were on that, if not now, when? Why? Why wouldn't you announce it to the world? See, she did. And action is starting to happen in her business. See, she said this. She said, I hadn't had anybody join yet, but I had somebody order product. Let me tell you something, lady. That's somebody that just joined your team. Let me tell you, 
string wins together here, string wins together. It's not all about brand partners. It's all about getting those five-day trials out. See, when I move a five-day trial, somebody just joined me. When I move a box, somebody just joined me. When I put a customer in the system, somebody just joined me. When I put a brand partner in, somebody just joined me. I want to win, right? I've got to teach and I got to feed my mind that every time I every time I I make a move in this deal, I'm winning. And it's all about stringing wins together. Okay? That's how you get your market share of this new company. You string wins together. And so here's here 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 was the rally on Tuesday. Here's what I said. I've been surrounding myself with people that are multi-million dollar earners in the industry. And here's what they're doing right now. They're creating their next million dollars in the industry. And they're doing it through a names list. And it's, 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 it might seem like, man, I've heard this over and over and over, but you know what? That's what they're doing. And so they're using social media, they're using their phone, they're using everything. And here's, they're breaking it down. They're eating the elephant one bite at a time. It's too big to eat all at once. So here's what they're doing. I said on Tuesday, if you started on December the 7th and you went to December the 31st and you just added 10 names a day. And I said, don't worry. Don't worry about the names. Don't worry about if they're going to do business with you, if they're not, if they're rich, if they're poor, if they're, if you see their name and they're not in, if they've not joined you, put their name on paper, put their name on paper, put their name on paper, 10 a day. You would have 250 names from December the 7th to December the 31st. 250 names would hit the piece of paper. That's your next million dollar business. That's your next million dollar business. And then I also said each day starting December the 7th. So if you've not started it, guess what? You're going to have to extend your January, I mean, your December the 31st to January, and you're going to have to move December the 7th to December the 11th, right? But think about this, 10 a day, 10 a day, 10 a day, you're going to compile 250 names. Do just like Letitia, make a decision and go announce it on Renew You. As crazy as it seems, when you make an announcement, when you confess something, it does something to you, okay? Don't be too cool for school. Don't go, I'm too old to do this, or I'm too young to do this, or I'm just too cool to do this. Do it. I put mine out there. Why? Because I'm making the names list. I've got it right here. Like My names are on there. I'm doing 10 a day, just like everybody else. But then here's what I'm also doing, and I told everybody, allocate a percentage of time for the day to start having conversations with those people. How's the kids? I saw you on Facebook. I saw you on Instagram. You look great, lady. Whatever it is, business is conversation. Business is not, I hadn't talked to Arlene Hutchinson in seven years, and I call her up and go, hey, Arlene, would you want to buy some product from me? That's not business. See, Arlene walks away and goes, no, I don't, and you're trying to sell me. And unfortunately, that's what gives our industry a bad name. Because we have people that do that. They, they call a person up and say, we're starting a new company. I need you to be a brand partner. You haven't even like asked me how I was doing. So here's the thing. I've got to care about people. They got to know I care. And then it's going to lead to com more conversations. Arlene's going to ask me, hey, what are you doing, Brent? What's going on? Well, it's crazy you ask. Here's what's going on in my life right now. Starts to breed conversation. 10 a day, 10 a day, 10 a day. And I'm allocating 30 minutes to make conversation on Facebook, Instagram, text message, whatever form of communication, maybe a phone call. And the phone call is not where you, the phone call is I'm marinating my next million dollar business. Does that make sense? I hope that adds value. It's so simple to do, but so many of you won't do it. And I just pray that you do. I pray that you're like, we'll be the 20 percenter, but you get to make that choice. You get to make it if you're going to be the 80 or the 20, right? 
And so she announced it to the world on Renew You. That's what I challenged everybody to do. So I also want to share market. So, so right now, here, here's where my mind's going, Andrea. There's When you're doing this business, like when you're doing this industry, there's four stages. I talk about it. I've talked about it for a long time. My mentor taught me this a long time ago. He said, Brent, you're either in create and build. You're in the manage stage of your business where you're trying to manage things. And if you stay and manage long enough, you'll start defending why you're not growing. And that's right before you start blaming something. Usually it's the product or it's the company or it's the ownership or it's something. You got to blame something because it is not you that's stopping this growth. And that's right before a person quits. And that might sound doom and gloom, but that is that has been our profession since the beginning of our profession. And here's where I believe that the people that want to capture the market share will go right now. And you go, what is capturing the market share? That means there will be a group of people in this new company. That's why I am... I hope that you're on the call next Saturday. Andrea, I think you're canceling Sunday so that everybody can just focus on Saturday. Just Saturday, Saturday. Get everybody to the call. Get everybody to the call. Because you got to make a decision to jump into create and build. And what does create and build look like? Well, creating bill means in my world, it's I'm I'm delivering a five day trial. I'm taking a picture with somebody that's getting a five day trial. I'm 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 moving a box of renew. I'm I'm enrolling somebody as a brand partner. Like I'm I'm creating action. I'm stringing wins together. And you can take other products and say the same thing. But you get me. I'm trying to keep it simple here. I'm trying to stay with the system of growth. Create and build is when we have a shop live like we did on the 3D serum. And you're, you're, you're pushing people too. Like you're pushing people. You're, you're pushing your team that's already here. You're pu- hey, get on. Watch this live. It might be something you're interested in. That way people buy because they want to buy, not because they've been so. And I believe the people that get into that create and build mode. Now you got to get mo- mentally focused to get into that create and build mode. Like you got to, you got to believe in this. If your belief's not right, it's hard to get in create and build. If, if, if you're not feeling it, it's hard to get in that create and build. So, so I encourage you to get with somebody to get yourself into that create and build. Like I call it a two by two. You know, Cynthia said last week it was Andrea Rosser. She said Andrea Rosser is like my 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 glue. Like I I I plug into her and they're running together two by two. And Cynthia is absolutely lighting the scoreboard up because her mindset is create bill, stringing wins together. That doesn't mean she's going into the day going I got to put in six brand partners. No, it means she's got to go into the day and she's got to. She's got to win the game of the Renew System of Growth. Andrew, if you will, screen share that real quick. I know Cynthia's on tonight. I can't see everybody, but I know Cynthia's on. But, but, but I want to – I believe that she's laying so many nuggets out in the win. See, see, she's putting herself in the wins. She's not saying, hey, Andrea, will you go, will you go make these posts on Renew You? Why do I have this background on my back? That's a win for me. Uh, so, so Cynthia Bolden says, I'm so excited. My sister said yes to renew. Things are heating up in Jacksonville, Florida. See, she's, she's breathing that into existence. Renew. Rain, listen, Ramon says he's feeling more energy and focus. Things are heating up in Memphis, Tennessee. And I could go through renew you and she's just lighting it up. She's lighting it up, and so many of you are lighting it up. You're putting it out there. People are joining. People are joining your team. People are joining, whether it's a five-day trial or it's a, it's, a, it's a customer or it's a brand partner, like it's happening. So what are you doing 
to light the scoreboard up right now. And as you see, Cynthia, so so Cynthia's out in the field. Here's what I mean by that. She's she's going. She's you see that box, like he's a new customer. She's taking a picture. She's lighting the scoreboard up. She knows when she's driving back to Oxford, Mississippi, she's winning the game. Who are you going to to grab in in your market share? Like, see, I look at that and I go, she just grabbed Jacksonville, Florida. She just grabbed Memphis, Tennessee, and she's grabbing Oxford, Mississippi. Now, just so you guys know territory, because I know we got Canada on the phone, on the line tonight and other places. Jacksonville, I would say, is probably 12 hours, something like that. Let's just go with it. 12 hours from Cynthia. So she just grabbed a market share 12 hours from her. Memphis is hour and a half, two hour, hour and a half. She just grabbed the market share there. Um, Oxford, that's where she lives. It's right in her backyard. She's grabbed that market share there. And now she's going to start marinating, if you will, that market share. So you see that behind me? That's Jackson, Mississippi. So what does it look like if every one of those people are in your business in Memphis, Tennessee, or in Jacksonville, Florida? Like those people are, are givers of life. Like they're fun to be around, they're energy, but they're also each using products that create a residual income for the person that created that market share, that opened the door to that market. And so with, I just, for me right now, I want everybody to know, you know, I, I, I wish you had your eyes on my book tonight, my, my, but, but, this is not bragging on me. I said this yesterday on a call. I made a decision in November. I told you I was went to the company right when, right when um, the 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 buyout, if you will, happened. And I said I got to make a decision for my future first, right? And there's a reason when you get on a airplane they say hey if we have some turbulence put on your oxygen mask first okay so I went and I had to see for myself I had to I had to be there I had to see because there was some things that I needed to know and then I had to make a decision for my life for my future my kids what's daddy going to do daddy's going to go win Daddy's going to go get a fire in his belly that he hadn't had in a long time. Daddy's going to go help a lot of other people win. And that's what I told the people in Jackson, Mississippi last night. I will travel the world to continue to build our brand and continue to build this new name and continue to go and flourish. You get to make that decision. I will light the scoreboard up. That's the first thing you got to admit to yourself. If you're going to, if you're not. And so when I decided that, I said, I'm going to start enrolling people in this new company. And I started doing that. And, and I started communicating with them. I started telling them the story. They're like, so what's going on, Brent? I said, you know what? Lemu was an amazing journey. We sold it to an amazing company called Oryx. Arx has got amazing people. It's brought life givers into my life, friends. Like, like, no matter what, they'll always be friends to me. Uh, good people, good-hearted people. And then we decided to sell. We decided to merge with a company called New Age. And it brought another amazing group of people, Tahitian Noni people. Man, I have absolutely, if you're a part of that tribe, I've loved getting to meet you. I've loved getting to know you but the public traded side wasn't for us. We struggle. And I'm honest with everybody. I was in, I was in uh, Lubbock, Texas the other night, just honest with people, just speaking from the heart. I hope this is some nuggets you're going to get from what I'm sharing. And I said, you know, the public traded side, it just wasn't for us. And our board of directors decided we was going to restructure. And when that happened, um, we ended up 
detaching, bringing all of the side of the business that we loved with us and detaching for everything that was holding us back. And I always say this, I said, you know, if you go back in history, Great Depression was a tough time, but it also brought about amazing opportunities. We've went through a tough time here, but it's brought about an amazing opportunity because we're about to launch a new company name. We're about to make a group. We're, we're about to make a movement. And you get to decide if you want to be at the beginning of this. You get to decide if you want to be on the ground floor of this. You get to decide if you want to be on our team and share this brand, share this company, share this name. You know, it's going to take us time, but we're going to expand it all over the world. We're going to change people's lives. And that's when you got to look at people just like Latisha's energy. And you got to look at them and go, I don't lose. I'm a winner. I win. And you can join me on this journey and win with me. I'm telling people, you can enroll with me today. I'll continue to be enrolling people. Me and you together, we'll watch it expand. We'll work to watch, we'll work to make it expand. Do you want on my team? And they say yes. And a lot of you might go, well, it's because you've earned millions of dollars and it doesn't have anything to do with it. I get told no all the time, all the time. So don't ever think, well, once I become a million dollar earner, the world will just open up to me and start enrolling. Doesn't happen. Will not happen. Your attitude is what people enroll with. Your energy, your enthusiasm, and where you're going. And you got to look at people and you got to know where you're going. You got to have the conviction. Nobody wants to follow a dull, delusional person that don't know the roadmap or where they're headed. They won't join. They won't come along. But here's what people will follow: somebody that's on fire, somebody that's got energy, and somebody that knows where they're headed. And so, for me, Andrea, going back, the market share. It's that special time. Lemu had a chance, had a time when we got to own the market share. And I took full advantage of it, full advantage of it. Tahitian Noni had a time when they got to take full advantage of the market share. Oryx got a chance to take full advantage of the market share. There will be a group of people that will take advantage of grabbing the market share of this new name coming up. And I'm declaring to you that I will be one of those people that grab that market share. And I can only declare to you me. I can't declare you. Going back to what Letitia said tonight, you get to decide if you're the 80 percenter or the 20 percenter. If you're going to make the declaration or you're going to wait and think about it. There's always those groups. There's always those people. And that sounds kind of rough, what I'm saying, but it's just straight chalk. It's just me coaching, and I'll continue to do that. I want everybody to go grab their market share because here's the deal. Why not? Where Kathy Roberts lives in Canada, I don't live there. She should be the first to go grab that market share. But guess what? I'm coming. Don't let me grab it and you don't. I'm coming. And I'm joking, but I'm not joking. Now's the time. So why are we building the list? Because of that reason. I'm getting the market share. Why am I reaching out to people and communicating? Because business is conversation. I'm going to grab my market share. Why am I getting to pe together with people in Jackson, Mississippi? Yes, I love them. Yes, they become family, but I'm going to grab my market share. What are you doing to grab your market share? And if you go, I need somebody to run with, then do get you a two by two. Find somebody that will run with you, that will communicate with you. You don't need 10 of those people. You need one that will just lock arms with you and go with you on this journey of grabbing this market share and running with this. We got a special opportunity ahead of us. I see it. The system of growth is working. It's stringing wins together for people. And if you're 
if you can vision the future and you go, well, what does a system of growth look like? What does this five-day trial look like? Because this is a tool is what it is. This is a tool. So let me ask you a question. If I change this from a renew to another product that made an impact in five days, could we plug it into the system of growth? You better believe it. So when you think about our R&D team thinking and focusing on things that could plug into the system of growth, that's why you need to dial in and have this system just fine tune, fine tune, fine tune, because when you bring somebody on board, they got a plan of action. They got a plan of action to move. And so, Andrea, I know I've taken up too much time. It's 8:52. Um, I'm fired up. I'm excited, and and I, and I know the future is bright. And I want to tell you, thank you for doing this on Sunday night, for being consistent with this. It's hard to do calls consistently every week. Think about all the leadership in the company. It's hard to do calls consistently every week, but you do it. So thank you. Thank you for doing it every week. And thank you, everybody on here for tuning in and being a part of the team and going in Renew You. And every time you move a five-day trial or every time you're sharing that win, it's not the win just for you. It's the win for all of us. Because when you do it, it breeds hope and belief that we can do it. So thank you for joining us on that. And Leticia, thank you, lady. You're going to change your life with this company and you're going to change a lot of other people. Andrea, I'll turn it back to you. Well, thank you so much for that, Coach. Every minute was so powerful. So guys, if you agree, go ahead and throw one in the chat because I think that that was probably one of your best ones. So thank you so much for that. Super powerful. Leticia, adore you. Thank you for your time and for sharing. That was phenomenal. And guys, thank you. Thank you for jumping on here with us every single Sunday. We are so grateful for the time with you. And Coach is right. He let the cat out of the bag. So next week, we're going to build all week for Saturday. We're going to skip Sunday, not because I don't love you and I don't want to see you, but I want people to be able to use their time on Saturday with us. So love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you all week on the Coach's Corner, on Tuesday on Chalk Talk, all that good stuff. But love you and have a phenomenal Sunday night. Thank you, Coach. Great, great, great job. Thank you, Leticia. Love you guys. Grateful for you. Thank 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 you.